Today is the 18th of March 2020 and today's the day that, you know, it's a new chapter. We start our journey together and it might sound weird, but just like looking at him now, like he's going to grow up into such an incredible horse and I just feel like it's going to be amazing in the future to look back on now and just like, just me now thinking about it, it's just like, Hopefully we're going to create so many incredible memories together. And it just puts a smile on my face. Like honestly, when he first arrived, I just thought about it. I feel like I'm gonna cry right now, but I won't, I won't. I have cried once too many times on YouTube before. At least this is a happy cry, but I'm just so excited. And yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> hey, are you? <laughs> he's so cute. He's definitely starting to settle in a bit more, aren't you mate? Happy one year anniversary, Joey. I love you so much. I know it must have seemed strange sleeping somewhere new for the first time in your life and also meeting some even stranger horses, but I'm so glad that you can call the place where you live home and hopefully will do for the rest of your life. 2020 was the year that nobody expected. Through times of uncertainty and darkness, you brought me so much joy and I cannot thank you enough. For our first ride at home, we both took it slow and steady and I'm not gonna lie, I think we were both a little bit nervous too. You being in a new home, in a new place, with a new rider and me on a new horse. But together, we both had trust in each other and everything just sort of felt right. Even if I wasn't quite used to the big horse rides yet. The first time you went out into the field, of course you went and rolled and you still do that today <laughs> our first jumping session at home we just did cross poles you were a little bit unbalanced but i could definitely see what an incredible horse you were about to become and mickey might not have been the biggest fan of you when you first arrived i'm not gonna lie i think he was a little bit jealous now it's safe to say you're definitely the best of friends and with casper too i remember the first time i put you guys out in the field next to each other you were blasting around having a whale of a time casper might have taken a little bit longer than mickey to call you his friend however the first time i saw you guys grooming each other over the fence my heart melted and then after a very long two and a half weeks you are finally not a secret anymore i could tell the world all about you and just hope that they'd love you as much as i do i'd like you to finally meet and welcome the new member of the herd joey and it's safe to say they definitely did. So much so that your reveal video actually was 13th on the UK trending page on YouTube, which still blows my mind today. The first couple of weeks together might have been quiet due to lockdown, but this gave us so much time to get used to each other and for our bond to grow even more. I call them his big floppers because they're so long. As the weeks went by, you got more and more used to the YouTube life and having a strange man walk around with a camera following you. We did lots of pole work to try and build up your muscles, even if you did struggle a little bit with it to start with because you didn't really know where your legs were going. During the spring, we had lots of fun dressing up and making videos to raise money for the NHS and other global organisations, such as the videos we did for virtual eventing and also equestrian relief. We even had a go at home doing a dressage test for fun as well. You were even part of your first ever tri-pony tournament where we tried barrel racing for the first time as well as pole bending and also having to move around some ground poles that were very tight. <laughs> and we both had so much fun. In June, we had our first ever adventure out in the van and you might have cried and kicked the whole time. I don't think you enjoyed being away from Mickey and Casper. You did, however, have an absolute blast on the beach. We galloped, your ears were forward the whole time and overall, it was such a great day. In late spring, you also had your first ever food battle and you're definitely now an apple bobbing pro. You also had a go at the swinger of destiny and also the battle ball as well. As spring turned to summer, your passion for rolling definitely grew and it was so nice to be able to see you, Mickey and Casper, the best of friends out in the field together. 
In the summer, we had our first ever lesson together and we both learned so much. It was also so nice to have somebody on the ground telling me that I was doing everything right because I was so worried about letting you down. We even had a go at doing some more pole work and grid work and even though we didn't get everything right first time, it's such a pleasure to watch you learn and grow. As the weeks went on, we had more and more lessons and gradually you started to build up more and more muscle and get stronger and fitter. There are so many exercises back then that we both found rather difficult, but now we're finding them easier and easier each day. Something I learned about you when it comes to jumping is that you are a keen bean. You love to jump, but it also means you like to jump and get to the fence as quickly as possible. So we did lots of grid work and lots of poles to stop you rushing. It might not have been pretty the whole time. You might have given me a bit of sass because we weren't going 100 miles per hour into each fence, but over time, you gradually started to listen to me. In the summer, we also had our first ever arena hire and it's safe to say you were pretty excited. Eventually, we got there and even though it took me a while to get used to your big haul strides, sometimes not giving you the best setup defenses and you wanting to zoom through them, with a bit of spice here and there, we eventually got there. We got a beautiful rhythm and I was so happy at the end of the session. And you also didn't bat an eyelid at any of the spooky fillers or water trays. As the weeks went by, we had more lessons and it's been so satisfying to see you build up more muscle and becoming stronger and more balanced.
a summer of lots of lessons and learning and our van finally being fixed and you also getting a little bit more used to traveling we finally in the autumn had quite a few outings we had our first ever indoor jumping session together where you tried so hard even though you struggled a little bit with the tight corners we also dressed up for halloween you being a skeleton we also had our first ever cross-country schooling session together and both had so much fun that i decided to enter us into our first ever competition a hunt trial No eating. It's not yummy, I promise you. It doesn't taste good. Before we knew it, it was our first ever Christmas together where we had a Christmas party and definitely had a lot of fun and treats too. You also had your first ever snow with us and it's safe to say you did a lot of rolling and found it very exciting. Jerry calm. Jerry calm. All right, so you might not have been the biggest fan of the snow, especially as the fields were so frozen and horrible, you had to be in a lot longer than usual. And you definitely let me know that because you were pretty spicy, not just on the lunge, but also to be ridden. But when the ice and snow finally thawed, we could get out riding, we did lots of hacking, you could be turned out again and you were so much happier. I still can't believe that before you came into our life, you'd barely done any hacking, especially on the road and now you're a complete pro and don't tell Casper but you're braver than him when it comes to motorbikes and tractors. You've come on leaps and bounds and so many things that people don't realise such as having your hooves washed off, standing still when being tacked up and being groomed and even when it comes to loading in the van you'll now walk on first time although a little food does help. And you've also learned that kicking the stable door doesn't mean you're gonna get your breakfast or your dinner any quicker. After a little bit of a quieter first few months to 2021 due to lockdown and also due to the horrible weather we've recently had, I'm now so glad to say that you're back and feeling better than ever. We've been doing lots of lunging, lots of flat work, lots of pole work and starting to do a little bit more jumping now too. And I'm so excited for when we can finally get back out there and have even more fun. So thank you Joey for an absolutely incredible first year together. We've improved so much since the 18th of March 2020 but we still have a long journey ahead of us. I can't wait to make even more incredible memories together. What a day, my heart is full of butterflies There's no disguise in how I feel Whenever I'm with you I've waited till the moment's right To look into those starry eyes And say the words that I'm thinking all the time 